Well, hello there, everybody. It's Sally here. I have to say, today I've been standing here for about 15 minutes, just trying to think and form what it is I want to say today, and I'm still not really sure what I want to say. I've, I've put up there about being kind, and that has came out of a conversation, actually, I had with Sharon this morning, and I particularly want us to think about our pupils, our children, um, and I just feel that at the moment, in the UK, and I, I am going to be UK specific here because I can't talk about other parts of the world, but here in the UK, many of us, especially in England, we have got another six to seven weeks of our return left, another six to seven weeks of teaching. And I don't know about anybody else, but I reached the end of last week completely exhausted again, absolutely brain dead, you know, nothing really going on in there at all. And um, and then this week, mm, Zoom is playing up as bit for me, um, and you know that makes my level of frustration go up a little bit. And it's so easy, isn't it, to pass that on and to 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 let that show in our lessons. And of course, the children that we're teaching are in a unique position. I don't think um, since the probably the Second World War that every child in the country has been as affected by something. And even then, back then, you know, they were still going to school. They, they lived in a constant state of threat and, and terror, and that obviously changes things completely. But they weren't all locked down with parents and not able to see their friends. And I'm noticing that they're becoming very weary, that they're becoming quite heavy, and I think this is really now beginning to, to, to take a toll on the children and certainly my extended family, my great nephews and nieces, you know, there's, there's only so much of your brother and sister actually that you want, you want to experience. So I looked back and I found this photo of myself actually, here's Sally as a, as a I think I must be seven or eight there in, in my parents' back garden and you know, summertime. Summertime is for playing outside and not having a particular care in the world and um, just, just you know, having a, a, a fantastic time. And um, I think our children today are still experiencing, especially as in the UK we've had some great weather, you know, are still getting outside, still playing. But there's, there's always this underlying feeling, isn't there, at the moment, that you can't go far, that you are with your family. We've just heard in the UK that um, the secondary schools will not be going back, that's 11 plus, will not be going back to school till at least September. It's unlikely, I feel, that the primary schools, beyond what's already happened, are going to go back as well. So the children now know today that they won't be going back to school, the majority of them will not be going back to school, they will not be in the playground, they will not be able to knock around with their friends playing football or doing some sort of skipping game they won't be able to just run because they can and because they won't be having a sports day, for example. You know, um, They won't be getting all messy in art classes. They won't be playing their drums in their music lessons or singing as a group in assembly or in any of the other things. And everybody is really beginning to, to really have this weariness with it all. But then I look at ourselves as I talked about last week about being resilient, you know, and I think where it's our job to look at the screen, to put that smile on before we start the lesson, no matter what happens, and I have to remind myself of that as much as anybody else. And actually to accept whatever happens, you know, if they haven't practiced, then Let's just see what we can do. Let's talk to them. Let's see what, what else we can do this week to make it go. And as Sharon was saying this morning, you know, she was looking at, uh, talking about somebody and, and you know, she said, oh, well, I've just got to be kind. That's all that I need to do. And I think that's what we need to do at, most of all, is, is look, at our, look at our pupils, smile at them and be kind and help them in whatever way, whether it's just distracting them with a little game, but something to lift them out of themselves and help them to forget, even if it's just for a moment, what is going on in, in the world at the moment. So I'm not sure whether I really said very much there or not, but um, it's good for me to say it to myself that we just need to be kind. 
and I'm just looking and saying hello to everybody who's there. I can see Jane's there and Thomas as well. Thomas has said no one wants online piano lessons with me. Yeah, it it is it is a tough one actually, Thomas. It really is. I'm sorry to hear that nobody nobody wants them. I mean, there have been lots of positives coming out. You know, a lot of people have found that online lessons are actually working for them. The parents are quite enjoying it because they get to see what's going on in a piano lesson. And a lot of parents I know, I've heard teachers say, you know, the parents are saying, oh, that's what you do. <laughs> oh, that's really good. You know, and, and so I think it's, it is a lot of fostering of good relationships going on here. I think we all have to keep listening, though. And um, I think going, up, going forward, my heart sinks, absolutely sinks at the thought of continuing to teach online in September. But I don't see an option at the moment for me where I am at the moment. Anastasia's just coming up with a good point. I'm finding flexibility is the key. Yeah, How, absolutely. Absolutely, Anastasia. You know, I've got plans here, there and everywhere. And you know, just have to be flexible. I was trying to teach, for example, crotchet rest, quarter note rest yesterday in a lesson. The signal was all over the place. I was completely out of sync with my movements and everything. So, you know, you just have to, I have to get mum to do it. And, you know, this is where parents are just wonderful, aren't they? I think we send them all a big bunch of flowers actually at the end of term because they are also under, under, pre under so much pressure. So um, it is, it is hard, Fiona. I absolutely agree. I'm just going back down my little list a little bit. Uh, lovely to see so many of you uh, out there and watching. And, you know, we are... We are in this together, um, whether it's as a nation or as a profession, that we're all struggling, we're all finding it hard, but come on, let's keep encouraging ourselves. We can, can, can deliver something. And we are so much better placed than so many other professions, you know, we really are. And uh, we have something that we can give to the children. We can give them that kindness. We can give them that love. We can... Be flexible. We can play the piano to them if the sound is good enough. We can play some listening games. You know, we can play, but it does depend on the Zoom link, I have to say, or whatever it is you're using. So being flexible, I talked last week about being resilient as well, and I've got to learn that. You know, yesterday, end of my teaching, and it was, oh, God, that was just so awful because I had the poor signal. So, Glenis, you've started with two new children who've got the keyboards in the attics and want to learn. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Start every lesson with a game. I've got a young beginner as well. And uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Except when you want to teach them a rhythm which has got a rest and then you can't do it. Thank you, Chris. Lovely to see that you're out there. And for those words of encouragement, you said so. Thank you, Chris, for all your support. Anyhow, folks, I must go because I've got to go and teach in a bit. But, you know, let's keep smiling and um, let's keep being kind to our pupils, to the parents and to ourselves, because actually we're all doing our best, aren't we? We're all doing our best. OK, love you all out there. Take care. Happy teaching. Bye bye.